Yo guys, Kurt here. Last time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we uh, boarded the Excess Express and went through the first day on there. Two more days left and we will be going and we'll make it to Poshley Heights. Um, I guess to start out, we need to go check with our con uh, our detective friend. Why, why am I getting an email? Uh, Rogueport today, local mystic Myrtle Lovely, age 25, was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Myrtle Lovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wall binge on eight shroom steaks. That's a lot of steak. The Divine Diviner exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's the power of the steak. This reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. Shop report to go. This time, let's head to Keyhole Galleria. Uh, we are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit shown by the man manage man man oh my gosh managerial team who brought free commerce to this uh, deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done before. Gush, the unsinkable pr proprietor and formal, former fight fan. So call me the Invincible Shop Master. From now on, I'm 100% serious. Print that. We wish him all the success that he can grab with the two hands uh, and wrestle to the mat. Cooking for rookies. Listen up, rookies, because here's another intermediate level recipe. Today's dish is the single serving peach tart. Take a peach peach, add some cake mix, stir and bake. Try that uh, at team tea time, rookies. Writer's note, thanks for reading the best drag in the land. Uh, see you next issue. Cool. Uh, we actually have not made the peachy tart yet. We have not had our hands on any cake mix in a while. So yeah. But now that that's out of the way, let's go see our detective pe friend, Pennington. Hey, what's up? Yeah, not good, not good. If I don't fight that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed uh, with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in the sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. <coughs> I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They have both, both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady, Tootles, lost a gold ring. Luigi, the same person who stole those objects, also has the nitro honey syrup. They can make things goo blast. They can make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. That we must do. So we already talked to you. Good morning. Any chance you see my shell earrings anywhere? But we have not talked to uh the lady in room two. So let's head over and talk to her real quick. Well, hello there, you find uh you saw the rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Uh, you're so wreckly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. 
Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. Okay, we can do that. Ah, <sighs> but we don't really have any clues. It might be a good chance to just sit in our room and think for a little bit. Oh, no, that's not it. Wait. That's not what it was. I don't remember. Again. Apparently my memory is just awful with this chapter, because I can't ever remember what it's trying to point me towards. Well, we talked to both of them. Maybe that's what it was, but I don't remember that being the case. Let's go back to Pet uh, Pennington and see what he's got to say then. Pennington, I need more help. There is but one option, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Conductor, maybe? Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We'll be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Uh... Hmm, I don't remember. I've talked to everyone I think I need to talk to. Am I wrong? Oh, no, I remember what... Hmm. That's odd. So... <laughs> I, I remember where we need to be now, but... There's been no hints of it, so let me actually go try one more character, just see what they say. Hello, Mr. Conductor, or Engineer, rather. We'll be looking to stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Okay. Eh. Well, I, so... I don't know if there's any other hints, but I know we need to go into Stage Cart 1. You got a vital paper! This looks like something very important and complicated. Oh, do you not say anything? Oh. Okay. Uh, let's take this back to the detective. Yeah, there's no hints to that, I don't think. That's weird. Like, you would think either the lady in car 2 would say something... The engineer or the conductor could have said something. Uh, Penning Is it Pennington? I can't remember his name now. He could have had something to say, but... No. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? We got the vital paper. What is this paper? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Yeah! That, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal! What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Yes, the Toad's Room, a place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train, always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that Zip Toad. Alright. Well, we now know... Oh, I wonder if the conductor has anything to say about Zip Toad. This is my package car, da da da, no pa Okay, nope. Nothing new from the conductor. And what about you, miss? Since Did you see that Zip Toad come to last night's dinner? But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Sure. I mean, to be fair. There's also so much uh, makeup and whatnot that goes on for movies, so, you know. Yeah, they could be cuter on screen just because they have to, you know, fix themselves up for the camera. Uh, what about you? Do you say anything since now we have more? Hmm. Yeah, they don't really go out of their way for hints, do they? Um, well, he's still not showing up, so let's, let's use this power again. 
nothing. Hmm. Well. Now I think it's gonna be a good time for us to go to our room and, and just think. So... Uh, one of the facts that we have is that we were the target. So we gotta be careful being in our room alone. What's this? Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase! The suspect must be in here somewhere! Must be in here, huh? Well, perfect time to hide. Hmm. I'm assuming nothing happens if we sit here, but... Yeah, I'm not feeling patient today. Zow, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy! Oh, yeah? Ouch! So, this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. Oh, the wall pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm. Yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril here tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses, I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. <laughs> well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Ah. You got a briefcase, some a gold ring, and some shell earrings. Yeah, my precious briefcase is the nitro here honey syrup safe. Here you go. The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you! Thank the stars, it's safe! Now I won't get the sack! Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Bing bong, bing bong! Attention all passengers, this train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way! Bell up my flip if I let that happen. This whole zip toe thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers! Dupless! Bell up plan to goo if I admire it didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now! I'll leave the rest to Bell and see ya, suckers! Oh, I thought there would be more dialogue here. Okay. Well, with that, we're at uh, Riverside Station, so let's head out and see what's going on. Guess we can do a little bit of sightseeing. Uh, also, this mouse, do you have anything for me? Nope, nothing here. Okay. Oh, actually, I don't... So, the two that we need to return our stuff to... Oh, can I get back on the train from here? I don't actually know. We may have to wait till we come back. No, I could get back on. So, we got this stuff to return. I think they're both still in the rooms. So... Yes. Have you found my gold ring, you mystery sniffing master? Here you go. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It's merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. We got 30 coins. And do take care. I mean, we were completely broke before, but... A little underwhelming, if I do say so myself. And if we go back to the dining car... Yep, here she is. Oh, did you find them? I show earrings. Here you go. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. 
We got a star piece! You are like the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. Hmm, how many of those have you met? <laughs> Alright, and off the train we go. Alright, with that, let's check out Riverside Station. It's so super cool looking, I want to drive it right now! So Little Bub really likes trains, does he? We're just one by a train. Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge, the train can't leave the station like this! I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But the switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? Sure thing. Really, that'd be super. Well, here's the station key. We got a station key. Yeah, thank you so much. Urgh. I've been cooped up in their breathing cell air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. I mean, that's one reason I want to go out. Let's do a safety save, just to be... Uh, safe. This is Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge from, uh, here from when pleasure boats cruised through the uh, canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Oh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. He was rather slippery sore. We could barely have caution. Da -da -da -da. Station key. Let's go. Ooh, there's a badge up there. Oh, yeah, she's gonna notice the badge. Okay, that's fine. There's a hole here for an elevator key, but you don't have an elevate ele elevator key. Well, right here we see a small gap. I'm gonna go ahead and pass through it. And we see a switch, so let's go ahead and hit that switch. So our goal is to get to the bottom of this place. Um, <laughs> more detective work, I guess, in that sense. I don't remember if we... Yeah, okay, that way's locked, so let's head up. I don't think anything's in this room. So yeah, I will be using Miss Mouse quite a bit, uh, and also Goombella. So if you could guess, there are new enemies in this area. But there's also a lot of treasure, so we gotta uh, keep an eye out for the treasure with uh, Miss Mouse. Luckily, these guys are fairly weak, so this room or this battle we're gonna get through pretty quickly. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them. But anyway, max HP is seven, attack is four, and defense is zero. They swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. Well, we're not going to get to see too many of their moves, but they're... I think they're pretty much the same as a Dark Puff from uh, Chapter 2. So, yeah. Take that guy out, and take this guy out. Oh, we got a Mushroom from that guy. Sweet. And I hope y'all are ready to... Uh, Memorize patterns. Um, oh, I missed. Gosh darn it. I think I remember the pattern, but we will have to see. Hey, cool. I remembered it. And then we want to come over this way. And if we actually go back here, we'll see both a key and there's a hidden star piece. Um, well, no. Oh, I forget. Do we have to use... No, we don't need Yoshi or uh, Magma for that one. Get the key, and I'm going to just do a, a... Make sure. Yep, nothing else. Okay, cool. That's everything we needed to do in this room. So let's head on back to the locked door that we saw. All right. Here we are, let's unlock this door and head on through. 
And I... Okay, so there's plenty in this area. So I'm actually going to put Miss Mouse away. That's a new enemy, but I want to do this first. We got ourselves a HP Plus Bash. Not too bad. And we're going to attack this guy. Ooh, don't these guys have 8 HP? Yeah, they do. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. What? Let's tattle them. That's a poison pokey. Uh, as you probably guessed, it's a poisonous pokey. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 0. If you get poison, your HP will slowly drain, so uh, you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over them, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Uh, I don't know what my badges look like. Okay, we're good. I can jump on them. Hey, I managed to block the attack. So, uh, all the Pokies that we saw earlier um, have the exact same attack pattern as these guys, but these guys can poison you if their, land, their hits land. So, yeah, just be cautious of that. Got another one? Nice. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get this Thunder Rage. Uh, and that hidden block there. We got another puff here. Yeah, that one dropped the, uh, they had that item, so that's cool. Shine Sprite just chilling out here. I think that's everything, so let me make sure. Yep. Cool. Let's switch back to Goombella. Yeah. Hello? There we go. Okay, that guy's out of the way. And you. Alright, we are two away from a level up yet again. So, yeah. Next battle, we will be leveling up. Which is nice. Oh, that caused some lag. That was weird. Alright, let's head through the door we just uncovered with Flurry. Oh, boy. Ooh, these are a new enemy. So... Can you guess what time it is? Um, let's see. That's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Like other buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip it over to drop its defense to zero. I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. The spike hurts. What are you talking about? I just jumped on it. And it's done. Oh, I couldn't see who he was attacking. <laughs> nice! That's a spiky pair, Buzzy. It's a Buzzy with a spike and wings. Uh, max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Hey, the same stats as a normal Buzzy. Fire explosions don't work on Buzzies in case you've forgotten. And this one flies in the air and has a spike. What a total pain. So you better use an item or a special move. Better yet, I'll use my foot. And there he goes. He's down and out. Oh, I forgot about that. Goombella's base attack is now 3 per jump, which is really good. And, yeah, we got the level up. I think I'm going to put... So, for a little while, I think I'm going to stick with doing BP. Um, we really want to focus on being able to put on more badges. Uh, we're doing... We're going to be doing fine with, uh, FP for a little while. Oh, gosh. Hi. Uh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. And I'm going to... Oh, try to take this guy out. Okay. Ooh, we got a taste of time for that one. Let's see. So if we hop down here, there's actually nothing too special. Just a few enemies. So yeah, I'm going to take them out. Man, we are getting a lot of experience down here. Uh, we're already a quarter of the way done with this level. Make that a third. Oh, I didn't get my... Nice. Oh, I'm full already? Ah, uh, get rid of this Fright Mask. I say that, Fright Mask is worth more than a Dried Shroom. And I got two Dried Shrooms. 
Okay, so after I've cleared out all those enemies, the way that we're actually supposed to go is we're supposed to turn into a tube and head off to the left here. And we got ourselves a bit of a maze. I'm going to see if I remember. Okay, this one doesn't lead to anything. Wait, no. You liked it? Oh, I missed the jump. I don't know where I'm going right now. Is this the right way? Oh, this is the right way. Another dry trim. I'm just going to get rid of that. I thought that was a different um, dry trim first time. I was like, what's with all the dry trims? But no, that's the one I threw. Okay, so if you fall... Where was that at? So where does this go? Does this just... Drop us? Oh, that just dropped. God. Okay. If you can't tell, there's something here that I want, but... I can't seem to find it. Do we just drop for it? Oh, nope, that takes us here. Oh my gosh. There we go. P up, D down. Boost Mars attack by one, but drop its defense by one. This is a really good offensive badge. Oh. Uh. I didn't mean to go up there. Is that everything in here? Hold on. Okay. That's everything. I hope. Let's head on through. Oh, I've been going for a little while. Actually, I guess we're going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we will continue our way through Riverside Station. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.